E-tube. So I painted up the Aliens uh, pulse rifle. I also ended up getting it signed by Michael Bean, Corporal Hicks himself. Um, but that's not what the video tonight is about. What I wanted to quickly show you guys is a mod that I've done uh, that makes this takes us from very cool to awesome. And that is to replace this 10 round magazine with a 18. So I haven't painted them up yet, but these are ones that I bought on eBay, about 10 bucks each. What you've got to do is slight modification, and I'll just show you that now. Um, so it's, you've got, there's this lump here, that's got to go, and the ridge around here is almost identical to that of the factory mag, except this part here, it's got to go. And then you've got to cut, and I usually use the Dremel for this, two little slots, uh, one, you can see it in camera, one about there, and one on the other side, so that it represent that it represents, I'm going to turn it this way, so you can see it. There you go, you can see the um, slot, the groove that I'm talking about there. And you'll notice that on the ends it's smooth. All right, both ends are smooth, but this um, ridge is in exactly the same position when they're um, side by side. So, quick modification. Now, what happens is it does fire, but probably not with the full 18. I think I got 15 to work successfully, not um, 18. For whatever reason, maybe the spring was too much, adding too much tension, bending the darts. I don't know. It just kept jamming up for the first couple of rounds. Um, but now I have five magazines, four of these big ones, and the original. So um, certainly much better than ten rounds that came with it. Unfortunately, there's no addition for the um, for the pump. It's still manual and uh, one at a time. But I do like get my modded yeah. that, and I think when that's painted black, that's going to look pretty cool. The other thing I do want to do is add the uh, add the sight to the top. Even though it's not screen accurate, I just think that um, this. The sight is, is just missing off this and it needs it. It's not even a... It shouldn't even be a, um, a, yeah, an option. It should be just should have been just part of it. I'm not, not sure how they why they missed that in the original movie. Um, anyway. So there it is. Um, I just used... For the paint job of this thing, I've just used um, Dupli Color vinyl paint. Now I chose that because it eats into the bites into the plastic, and it's very hard wearing. Um, I didn't really prime. I did prime it, but it wasn't. I did actually use these more deeply. I used um, grey initially because I didn't have black on the on the day that I primed, and then um, let that dry for a good 24, 36 hours or something, and then um, on with the colour, and I just simply used. Um, Masking tape, painters, masking tape. Um, I think I did all my black first, let it dry, and then masked up, and then I did the um, colour on the um, shrouds. I've gone with a very simple two tone. Um, it's brown for the shrouds, black for the for everything else. Um, the only place that the paint doesn't stick well and then it rubs off is the triggers. But other than that, very cool. And I just um, put a bit of painter's tape over the number box 
so they don't even get any paint on that. Very, very easy. I think all up it was all said and done in probably 45 minutes because this paint takes uh, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and it's dry enough to um, move on. There's no um, major waiting. And so there it is. I'm uh, going to have, probably should have done this video after I painted them, but anyway. I wanted you to see the, um, the mags as they were. Um, the only thing I may do to these, and I'm not sure how just, just yet, but I wouldn't mind adding some plastic to try and blend it into the shroud, uh, just to thicken them up a bit. But, um, yeah, going from 10 rounds to uh, 15 is good. 18 would be even better. But um, the fact that I can just change out the mag now and stick in another one, even if they only had 10 in each, would still be better than the single um, 10 round that comes with the gun, given that um, I contacted Pol um, Nerf and they said there are no spare magazines available and they couldn't give me um, a date if, when some might come available. So it is 10 rounds as it is. And so there you go. Um, if you haven't got one of these um, and you can afford one, then get it because it is so cool. Particularly if you're a fan of aliens, even if you're not a fan of aliens, if you're just even a science fiction fan, you should have one of these. Um, and if you've got one, yeah, super easy to paint up, man. Don't um, don't stress it. It's, it's you know, it takes a little bit of time to get in there with your masking tape and put around all your little details. I mean, at, at the end of the day, probably taking the shrouds off would have been the, uh, the better option. Um, when I did the, there, I, uh, I think I actually just held that down and then sprayed. And I probably missed just that little touch just on the ends, but uh, who cares? Because, um, as I said, you, you can see here, there, I mean, when I work that slide, it hasn't, doesn't scratch the paint off. So it's, um, uh, very robust paint, and I've um, I've put this thing down on some pretty rough surfaces without worrying about it, and picked it up. Thought, oh, you know, should I put it down there or that way? And I've picked it up, and it's, it hasn't taken any paint off at all. So I'm not phased. Um, as for the signature, in hindsight, I probably wish just wish I'd kind of just got him to sign the magazine, not the not the shroud. Um, but anyway, it's all good, done now. And uh, the only other thing I did was I kept my logo. Um, I saw a lot of conversions. I've just kept the logo. I mean, it's it's actually AMAT or AMAT. I think is the actual manufacturer of the pulse rifle, not Wayland. But um, I really did like that little graphic that they stuck on this. I thought it was a good attention to detail, so I decided to keep that um, that was just done again quick bit of masking tape cutting a square and put it on there this is kind of cool because it's, it's the grey um, so as if the black does come off this or scratch off that actually exposes the grey underneath and it kind of gives you that weathered natural weathered look uh, as opposed to going around with a, a pen and adding weathered weathering to it uh, I prefer the clean look um, I just wanted it new, shiny off the rack, um, is what I was going for. Um, I don't know if I can show you my mouse that I did for the wall, but I um, might be able to. And we're back. Uh, so it's a bit hard to see, but um, essentially this mount is... Just some plastic oops, that I've glued together along with a bit of aluminium. It's cut out to fit in the hand grip and it just sits up there so it looks like the, uh, the gun's floating on the wall. And uh, there it is. Looks pretty cool, works really well, and doesn't take as much space as um, I didn't particularly want to get onto this stuff which is the uh, 
acoustic treatment of the theatre. So um, that was my solution for that one. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there for now. Um, enjoy your pulse rifles and uh, hopefully we'll catch you in the next one.